Alrighty. Well, I am starting back, and this time things should be going better. And this is third time going back to our Ur game, early era. And we're looking at this turn. First of all, no magic sites. Very sad. We had two battles with Vanheim, it appears. A event, misfortune, very sad. And we did get our first um, fort getting done. So I'm going to take a look at the two battles that happened. Ah, looks like they had one of their Vanhurses, which is one of their commanders. Hmm. Air gems. But I wonder... Ah, they had a... Hmm, that's interesting. A Favor, which is immortal. <laughs> Means it gets to respawn. Also, a lot of our guys have this passive glamour. It's not just the graphics looking weird. It means that they have sort of a illusory double, which makes it harder for them to be hit. We didn't have any forces defending this province, so we got uh, taken out there. I mean, it was just the basic province. In High Peaks, we were attacking them, and we can see how that turned out. And we should be able to use this army to come around and push them back. Ooh, they had some of their cavalry here, which are pretty good. But Mishushus are pretty good. So able to get through most of that pretty easily, it seems. Do you have, well, two commanders here our sacreds and mages. We might have lost one of our shoes, especially this one which yeah looks like he uh, took a very big shock attack from the commander and then a lightning bolt. So that is sad. We actually lost two but since we did take out one of their armies so one of the commanders escaped, a decent Solution. Unfortunately, we cannot get through this province into here, so we're going to head up through here. Going to leave a defense there. Um, alrighty. Have those being built. I don't really want to clash with Machaka quite yet, especially since Vanheim is not too happy so I'm gonna move our other army back we can also recruit some units here actually quite a bit ah we run out of recruitment sad but we'll have to see exactly this does not have these provinces I do want to maintain Unfortunately, I don't have many people there. Gilgamesh has to head down to search that area. But I definitely don't... Ah, I can just move him over here in case they attack. And then move on in. That and... You... Hmm. I don't want to start trying to build something while we are currently in a bit of a pinch, so no. I'm actually going to recruit Urguards here. They get a um, castle defense bonus, so should things not go as great as we hope, they will be able to assist us. Um, I'm just going to have her search, so going to set up. There's no one really to bless here, so just want her to cast spells. Um, nothing is super great. Sleep Ray is just in target. Tangle Vines is okay, and Stellar Decree is okay, but I'd really rather her not be fighting anyway, so. He should stay behind troops. Um, I really don't want to have them heading out, though, so 
they can just kind of stay behind. I'll put some more gold into province defense so if they do attack we have some more to get in their way. And back at Ur itself, um, I think it's time to start getting some of our doo-doos for the actual combat casters. Um, how are we doing with army? Yeah, we will have a decent force able to head out soon. Um, also recruit another horn blower and some extra guards. Yes, prevents me from building labs or temples, but at the moment need to make certain we aren't getting overtaken by a single boar. Yeah. And we are just about done with um, construction, so next we'll be getting evocation so that we can get our lightning bolt and various spells which make the goodies quite strong. Flying shards is a good one for those which have earth magic because it's essentially like a little shotgun blast which isn't super accurate but shoots out a lot of kind of like stones. So I'm gonna end the turn there and we'll see if we manage to hold them off. Wow, she did find a magic site here. A farm of plenty, 50 supply points. Oh, I was hoping that it would at least be a, another nature gem. But 50 supply points means that it can support a larger army. And spoiler alert, looks like our forces in there got taken out. Um, there was a unexpected event. Ooh, we got air gems, that is nice. But here we did lose the battle. I'm kind of curious how. I wouldn't think that this could take out the number of dragons we had. Ooh, these guys are sacred, so could be getting their blesses. But, Feel like these guys have been pretty lucky being nearly surrounded in these fights, but hmm. yeah, their berserkers just cut through the guard and that routed the rest of them. That is surprising because would not have thought them to be much stronger. Yeah, so it was mainly their sacred who dual wielder berserkers cut through most of it. And they are quite expensive as well. And as for retreats, our commanders made it out and no one died while retreating, which is always good. But those van here's are quite strong. So we can set up the new mage with some of our forces and bring him forward. Um, Gilgamesh can search over here. Still don't have enough people to Fortunately, that does cancel the fort we were building, but such things do happen. Meanwhile, this army can head across, can strike above, and hopefully find where they do not have any defenses. They can pick up a few more spearmen. Um, Sir Foyer, so that's not really an important army to deal with. But we'll move our spy over here to see what's happening. Um, do not want to attack out of here. Um, as for the mage, sadly he can't take more 
people than that, but and we do not currently have um, our lightning bolts, but we can have him give a blessing to them. And also, I guess mainly stellar decrees to try to um, just hurt and stun some of them, but I think it only works on undead, so so not the best, but we will be getting some of our evocation magic very soon, and at least the first one gives him a melee attack. Next one gives him even more. Over here, we also want to recruit a few soldiers. Um, actually, we'll also... Ah, nope. This is very resource-capped. I will... Hmm. want to get kind of a real commander so that we're able to lead out most of these at once, but the mages will be quite useful. Now we need someone to just lead them forwards. And in that case, also a lot more spearmen. And we'll see how that goes. This province also should be recruiting. Getting some more Urgard. Over here. Gonna put in a bit more defense here. I doubt that they're going to attack. Unfortunately, we actually can't see them because of their stealthiness, but they are definitely there and lethal. We're going to end there. Hopefully we'll be able to restart the fort after we move to retake it. Gilgamesh found another site, gets us some more astral pearls from that starlit pond. Man, Utenshire is just super unlucky, losing income now. Hmm, they attacked us in two places. In Linshire, they moved forward, and we're just fighting against our province defense. So not much that they had to go against. Looks like a lot of weaker units, but none of their sacreds were here. So somewhat easier to deal with. Yeah, just one of their sacreds. And that was up here. Actually, we could head down and see how we would fare against it. And they also took this province. Um, which we will move to take back um, and go in there. Going to send them over to take this. I'm not even going to look at that battle. It just as another province defense fight that couldn't have gone well. Um, get another mage going. And let's see. We do have two commanders here, so um, you can take the sacreds in one group. It's here. Yeah, we'll just set him to attack the rear. And this block is mainly just going to head on forwards. He needs to stay behind. And we're going to move him up. Yeah, we do want this army to go and test itself. As for them, I'm going to set these here. Have these try to head around and kill off their commander because that would be the easiest way to make them leave us alone. 
hold an attack for these guys so to can actually have these guys head out a bit sooner since I want them to reach before their warriors actually get to me. He is going to stay here until we have some more units to bring to the front. Um, super poor recruitment in that province. As for up here, we are able to recruit a bit more, so I'll get a stack going, so hopefully we can at least maybe raid away a province or two, which would be nice. And I don't think that just the 14 units here could hold off against this. Well, maybe if I give us enough extra That also will be giving us a patrol, which is useful at some point, and I think we have a chance of stopping them. So tell them to hold. The few archers I have can just not attack, want them to fire. You also should be staying behind, and let's see if have any specific spells. Probably just either Tangle Vines or Vine Arrows are best. So cast those and then once they're closer we'll go for Tangle Vines so that we aren't possibly hitting our own people. And hopefully we can pin them down somewhere soon. Gilgamesh for now is going to head back here so he doesn't get caught directly in the fighting. And we did get our second level of evocation, so we do have lightning bolts available. An event. Ooh, we got Dominion 3, so stronger in that area. Our fort up here is completed. We're going to immediately start upgrading it. Now, let's see. Well, we are being besieged here, so obviously some battles did not go as hoped. So, in Eagle Reach Mountains. This way. Yeah, looks like the uh, weaker units quickly left. And yeah, that was our province. For some reason, it didn't seem like the commanders actually defended the province. They decided to stay in the fortress. Yeah, walls are damaged, so they can hold out, but Linshire, this is where we were attacking them. Uh, they just had a little bit of, like a unit of province defense, so shouldn't have lost anyone, so just going to speed through it. Yep. Aoife, yeah, looks like they are just trying to be as annoying as possible, raiding downwards. However, they are taking casualties from, and we should be able to cut them off soon. Yeah. I don't even know if we killed anyone. No, sadly. And the final one was in Vara, where we were attacking back to recapture one. And it looks like they just set some province defense here. 
and we clean that up easily. So we're both kind of just attacking each other's provinces with little issue. Over here we're going to send our main army in and we're going to have these guys break siege so that they can support that. Over here want to recruit more units so he will be able to go in and give them a horrible time. Ah yes, we now have some decent spells so we don't want that. We want him to be using lightning bolts. So yes, primarily just lightning bolts from him because very far range, little fatigue, and can do quite a fair bit of damage. And they can attack down and we'll also send our other group that way. Still recruiting here. Also throw in another sphere. And we'll also send the new Gudu over with a couple more troops. They can just move from the bottom side and attack the rear. Again, we want to take out their commander. He needs to only cast spells and he should mainly deal with give a blessing for those sacreds and then looking at flying shards. Which again, decent range, does a small amount of damage but has a number of shots for it. Alrighty. And as for research, um, definitely is good for us to get alteration up to make our Earth Mage Goody stronger. And let's see how that goes. And this will be the last turn for this video, at least. Got a level up in alteration, so we have some of those better spells. And there were two battles, looks like just where we were attacking. So in Gifo, where several of our forces were combining, and against their quite good sacreds, though some of them are now injured. I hope at least one of these gets around the edge so that Wow, that guy just took out two of them at once. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Meanwhile, here, they are definitely somewhat hard to take care of. Our lightning bolts, couldn't tell if that actually, who that tried to hit. This is, let's see, ah, can't see. Do we actually hit with that from there? But our troops have gotten back towards their commanders, and it looks like we have taken their army out in hand. Wow, that lightning shield they have always does a number. I wonder why it's like. I guess it like negates the just basic protection. So here we lost, well, apparently our commander got too close and was taken out. And we lost some of our spears, but they are quite expendable. And we managed to finally lock down their other ones. And then in Eagle Reach Mountains, where we were trying to break the siege, which this time did include our other commanders. Wow, this guy is even stronger than the others. Has a number of um, air gems that he was given, but a lot of air units here are not as powerful, such as these serfs. That could be bad if that guy makes it through to the commanders. Nope, he tried to fight the dragon. 
and yeah. Dragon took a little bit of damage, but it's not too phased. Wow, he got some really lucky protection rolls. Or he would have been dead already. Then our forces moved in. Yeah, that's the one bad part about big units. They can be easily grouped up upon. So the Tangle Vines are helping here so that they aren't able to get through or do so much too quickly. And we did take care of their main line. Yeah. Some of our men were fleeing, looks like the Ur guards which were storming out, but we did enough damage and they are running off. Not the best victory, but a victory. Did lose our two Nishushus to a lot of their various units, but they are done. Alrighty, so let's deal with the process for this turn. Um, hopefully these two are able to grab everyone. Yes, they are. Just barely. And we want you to no longer do flying shards because you can now cast Earth Grip to grab onto people and be unable to do much of anything. Though so also Earth Might is pretty good. So maybe give Earth Might to some of our guys, extra strength, more damage, and then cast some Earth Grip. And we'll be sending them up to rec reclaim that. Um, grab that. Can head up here to chase them off. Our armies here. You can grab that guy. The archer should stay here, and they can meet up over there. As for this, we're going to send this mage around. Actually, no. He just needs to honestly head over to help with some of the fighting, really. But since we have defended this, um, going to cut down a bit on our sacred so that we're able to um, start making this a walled city so that it's stronger and better. We'll recruit a few more spears up here because they should be able to take care of just ordinary province defense. And we will give him a few soldiers to bring along. Since we have largely beaten off the fights, we'll have Gilgamesh start to search our other provinces, which are now moderately safe. And there we go. And currently working towards Alteration 2, and I would like to get up to, yeah, Earth Meld is even better than the Earth Grip, because it does more um, makes them unable to attack as well. So they're just not just restrained and easy to hit, they're also much more vulnerable. So we're gonna get in there and also start getting conjuration so that we can start summoning some units because their Fabors are quite helpful and being able to summon some units of our own is always helpful. But that's where I'm gonna leave it off and thank you.